Hello and welcome back to the Life Recovery Devotional Reading Series that I'm doing here. Today is day five, and today's reading is titled, The Paradox of Powerlessness. And we are reading out of 2 Corinthians 4, 7 through 10. Now we have this treasure in clay jars, so that this extraordinary power may be from God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. We are per perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are struck down, but we are not destroyed. We always carry the death of Jesus in our body, so that the life of Jesus may be also displayed in our body. Step 1. We admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. We may be afraid to admit that we are powerless and that our lives are unmanageable. If we admit that we are powerless, won't we be tempted to give up completely in the struggle against addiction? It doesn't seem to make sense that we can admit powerlessness and still find the power to go on. This paradox will be dealt with as we go on into steps two and three. Life is full of paradoxes. The Apostle Paul tells us, we now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. This picture here presents a clear contrast between a precious treasure and the simple clay jar in which the treasure is stored. The living power poured into our lives from above is the treasure. Our human lives, with all the everyday pressures and problems, are represented by the clay jar, an earthen container. As human beings, we have inherent weaknesses. Once we recognize the paradox of powerlessness, it can be quite a relief. We don't have to always be strong or pretend to be perfect. We can live a real life with daily struggles in a human body beset with weakness and still find the power from above to keep going without being crushed and broken. Our powerlessness displays the magnificent power of God. I want to touch on that, that a minute because that really speaks to me today. It really does. Because honestly, I have seen this happen with me in my life on many occasions. Because honestly, I have seen where my weakness has given God the opportunity to show his strength. Whether it was breaking down in front of my pastor, admitting that I've been dealing with a problem with pornography and alcohol for several years and had hidden it so well that the only one who knew about it was him and that I couldn't do it anymore or the fact that when I was at my weakest when I had COVID in January this year I felt like I was going to die but God himself car carried me through and gave me the strength to continue. Or, or, the powerlessness of when I was born and when God carried me through, even though every doctor in the hospital said he's going to die. When we are powerless, God shows his power. When we admit that we have no control, God exercises control for us. And when we give our lives to him, then he can give his life to us. That is the biggest mystery that I think anyone that does not believe and does not under, understand the Christian faith will ever be perplexed by, is the fact that, wait a minute, God died for you, but you were still against him? What? But the fact is, God demonstrates his love for us and that he sacrificed himself that Jesus sacrificed himself while we were still sinners so that we might be reconciled to him. It wasn't that we did anything good. It was that God is so good that he loved us anyway. And that is what we have hope in. 
If you enjoy this series and you want to support me, please hit that subscribe button down below. There will also be links for my um, coffee page to donate directly, as well as, my, as well as my Patreon page, where I'm starting to create original, exclusive content for you so that you can continue to support me there and gain some rewards from it. And I will be doing many more things coming up that will hopefully glorify God and help make this ministry grow. Thank you so much. God bless you. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching.